One of the reasons the World Cup is the apex of football is because we get to see different countries across the different continents come together and try to use their unique styles to outwit their opponents. And the beauty of it is that many different styles have prevailed over the others through the years. But just before we get into the list, we want to introduce you to one of our major sources for football news, gist and insider scoop. One Football is your one-stop shop for everything football related live scores, transfer news, general football updates, literally everything. Also, you can follow your favourite club and favourite players and get all the latest updates about them as a notification from the OneFootball app. So what are you waiting for? Click on the link in the description to download the OneFootball app. Um, you're welcome. Let's take a look at five different styles of football that have won the World Cup. Number one. Catenaccio, Italy. Catenaccio, which literally means door bolt in English, is a tactical system which was invented by Austrian coach Karl Rappen back in the 1930s and then perfected by the Italians later on. This system is simple and focused on one thing, having a tight defence that stifles the creativity of the opposition. The Italians believe that they can succeed by preventing their opponents from creating goal-scoring opportunities, and boy has it worked for them. We saw the Italians win back-to-back -back World Cups in the 30s and then go on to add a further two in 1982 and 2006. You'll remember when they won it in 2006, their best player was a centre-back. Catenaccio also worked wonders in the Serie A, when Nero Rocco used this system to dominate Italian football with Milan, winning multiple trophies including two Serie A titles and two European Cups in the 60s and 70s. With Italy having won four trophies, you have to say that the Catenaccio is one of the most effective styles at the World Cup. But while it might be effective, it has nothing on our next entry when it comes to entertainment. Number 2. Tiki Taka, Spain. Tiki Taka is a more recent style of football and its invention can be traced to 2006 or 2007. The Spain national team under Luis Aragone and Vicente del Bosque perfected this style and with it had the entire world on standstill for five years. Tiki Taka is basically a possession oriented style of play which requires quick and short passes of the ball, sharp movements off the ball and constant working of the ball through different channels. You can call it a direct offspring of total football from the Netherlands. The two styles are indeed similar, but not the same. With the Tiki Taka, Spain won Euro 2008, the 2010 World Cup and Euro 2012, establishing a period of dominance like we've never seen from a national team in the modern game. And not to forget that FC Barcelona under Pep Guardiola also employed this style and with it won every single trophy they competed for in the 2008-2009 season and then went on to assert dominance in the European game for three more years. Anyway, here's a style of football that has already won two World Cups and is looking to make it three. Number three, direct attacking football, France. Le Bleu don't play around. All they want to do is advance the ball, get the goals and win the titles. They usually have one outstanding performer in their team backed up by a bunch of other really talented superstar players. In 1998, it was Zinedine Zidane surrounded by the likes of Vieira, Deschamps and Henri. In 2018, it was Mbappe surrounded by the likes of Griezmann, Kante and Pogba. This style is as simple as it looks. Take the ball and move it forward forwards towards the opposition goal. They don't care much for skill and beautiful passing, they're just as direct as they come. And well, that's won them two World Cups and may well win them yet another this year. So who are we to question it? Number 4. German Football Germany German football usually feels like a combination of direct attacking football, tiki-taka and counter-attacking football. The Germans attack with so much intensity that it's so difficult to defend against them. While with tiki-taka, a lot of passing is done in the midfield and then slowly advanced to the attack, German football involves more direct and forward passing with insane attacking intensity. With the Germans, the defensive line is almost always high and if you observe, they love to maintain a U-shape at the back when they attack. This style is obviously very efficient as it's won the Germans four World Cups over the decades, not to mention how well Bayern Munich have benefited from the same style throughout the years. Number 5. Yoga Benito, Brazil 
For many football enthusiasts, Yoga Benito, which translates to the beautiful game, is the apex of football. It's one system that combines bits from other styles of play, and many say that this is how football should be played. Yoga Benito, as the name implies, focuses on making the game beautiful, entertaining, and just all-round enjoyable for those watching. It encourages skill and individual brilliance, as well as intelligent passing and teamwork. The term Yoga Benito is synonymous with the Brazilian legend Pele, but it surely precedes him. Basically, Brazilians want to enjoy the game of football, and that's all this style is about. For them, it's not just about winning, you have to win beautifully. Beautifully. And in spite of the fact that they insist on winning beautifully, that has not in any way affected their efficiency on the biggest stage. They remain the most successful nation at the FIFA World Cup, having won the trophy five times, and they kept their identity intact each time. But for you, which of these styles is the best? Which do you find the most entertaining and think is the most efficient? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. Catch you in the next one. Bye.